Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. Apologies for my absence yesterday, a busy singing and dancing day and there was nothing left in the tank by the time it got to doing tarot but I'm back again today. I know there are a couple of really grim stories floating around, the P. Diddy story, the Donald Trump story, there's lots of rumour and gossip around those two stories. We're not looking at them today, we're keeping it as light as we can today and I'm going to be checking in with Harry a couple of Harry related stories I know those stories are also Harry related but these are lighter Harry related stories and the first one is that sight of him in the car leaving the Tyler Perry birthday party last weekend filming Backgrid who were there surprise surprise his wife was seated in the middle of the back seat so she could be spotted easily clear line of sight never mind uh, any snipers or whatever that might be around she was there grinning maniacally she couldn't conceal her glee Harry was there in his usual sad grey suit and his bangle and his cell phone was filming as he has filmed exactly the same way he was filming when he was allegedly followed by one car in the UK leaving the wild child event several years ago and as he was filming in New York the near catastrophic car chase there's a lot of speculation that it wasn't Harry just like there's speculation it wasn't Harry at the tennis the photoshop sort of um a conspiracy theory has gone a bit mad in my opinion that was Harry I'm pretty sure of it so we're going to accept that it was Harry in the car we're going to ask a very simple question does he not know who calls the paps and uh, for the purposes we have the radiant wise spirit tarot on the tarot table today a little short reading to warm us up today we're going to be looking at this rather ridiculous um, filming her as I say beaming away uh, the rest of the celebs as they were leaving couldn't be bothered looking like they'd all been having a good time I uh, won't try to cover her face obviously taken by surprise but the rest couldn't be bothered weren't uh, put out by it or weren't performing for it as Megan seemingly was but Harry was the one that looked really put out and was filming so I want to know his feelings I want to know if he's collecting evidence for his court case his security case against the government in the UK it's ongoing he's appealing and the appeal's being held in January I think the appeal of the appeal of the appeal and uh, does, what does he think how does he think they get there and will he ever figure it out because obviously well let's say allegedly she calls them and uh, the empress has shown up there she phones them she makes the deal and uh, is he the only one who doesn't know that or does he actually know let's uh, let's try and figure this out because it does make him look a bit cray cray and look sad and pathetic that he really believes that these paps are crowding and following his every move and you know his life is at risk and his children's lives are at risk and all of that stuff that we've been hearing lately so tarot for fun and entertainment all opinion my opinion all speculation just read energy and there is of course a disclaimer in the box below let's see what the radiant wise spirit tarot has to tell us about harry and his paranoia or is this is this a strategic kind of move look see court uh, i can't even go to tyler perry's house down the road without being followed by the paparazzi and they'll they'll ru ruin me like they ruined mummy's life mummy phoned them uh, does he not realize that page of cups in reverse upset somebody who's upset um it's uh, it's got a kind of a sulky energy it, it could be a little bit paranoid the page of cups in reverse it could be a little inebriated too I have to say it hadn't thought that thought particularly in this context because you can't really see him she looks well we're not talking about her um, except uh, who she's got on speed dial basically allegedly but uh, there he is page of cups upset and uh, feeling a little bit paranoid maybe a little bit inebriated and 
just sorry for himself. That's the kind of feeling that's coming off that page of cups. I'm not getting nefariousness in that card, like this is all a conspiracy to cook up evidence for a court case. I'm not getting that kind of a vibe. Um, it's more like, you see, they do it. And they're always there. I can't move uh, without tripping over a pap. Um, I'm reminded of his appearance at the court in London about a year ago when he deliberately knocked into one of those guys who was their photographer, I think he was, very deliberately did it and then kind of gave him a look. It's very nasty. Anyway, that's just uh, a memory that suddenly come to me. Situation with dealing with Pearl has been, didn't get his own birthday party, he had to go to someone else's. The hanged man. The victim, the, this page of cups, I couldn't think of the word, I was scratching around um, for the word, but the, the hanged man has produced the word for me. Victimhood, self-pity, feeling like he's been hung out to dry, feeling like he's vulnerable, um, that he could easily be attacked, uh, just like Mommy Diana was, uh, but it's Major Arcana now, so it's serious. This, the sense that he has, this paranoia, this worry that he is very vulnerable and that he of all the royal families has been left out, um, hung out to dry, as I say, um, the sacrifice, the victim, the, the one who isn't being protected and who is powerless under the assault of the paparazzi. And so let's see his feelings when he left. Uh, they weren't there at the beginning of the party. This was all of them leaving. Uh, so how did he feel when he saw them? Was he afraid? Was he angry? Was he expecting them? What, what were his feelings? We've already got feelings in here. Um, it's quite a, 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 well, I'll show you energy, the Knight of Wands, camera out. You see, um, here they are. I'm going to fight back. I'm going to fight back with my camera. Um, take steps. Be assertive. Be angry. There is angry energy in the Knight of Wands. So not cowering and not I want to hide in the boot uh, or under a blanket or anything like that. This is a, 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 quite an aggressive response. It's a doing energy. Knights are doing energy. Knight of Wands is fiery and volatile. He was probably quite angry and incensed and indignant. Uh, it's all coming through in that Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is also journeys, long distance journeys, moving, moving home as well. And he could be collecting this or, or it could be prompting some kind of feeling that he needs to move or something needs to happen to remedy the situation where he's so vulnerable. Um, he thought, of course, that the UK was so dangerous, acid, random acid and knife attacks. But uh, look, it can happen even outside Tyler Perry's house in Montecito. Mansion, hardly a house. So is he, is he collecting evidence for his court case? Is this all going to the lawyers to prove his point that he's so vulnerable? I've got the King of Wands in reverse. It could be because it's drama, the King of Wands, it's escalated this Knight of Wands energy to King of Wands. I get that big hair guy energy, that lawyer in here in this Knight, in this King of Wands, all the drama and the theater that the King of Wands presents because he is creative in privity, theater and drama. Um, it's sort of a volatile energy. Again, the angry, angry, uh, mood that's in there but it's more about see um, I told you so and here is the proof and sort of acting it out maybe they have little rehearsals like she acted out that scenario in the bookshop when she was getting her book and then she was paying for her book and then she was going to walk out of the shop and then Oprah interfered that that's the same kind of thing this is here for the lawyer see this you can act this out in court but that's not really how court works. Well, I don't know. But uh, I don't think it's how court works in the UK uh, so much. You, there's not so much opportunity for that drama and that posturing. But there's the sense in there of drama and posturing. That's my sense. That's my opinion. So uh, how does he think the paps get there? Do they just 
follow his every move, um, track his phone, do they have trackers on his car, are they uh, intercepting his text messages and his uh, cell phone and all that kind of stuff. What does he think? How does he think that they get there? I've got the five of, uh, of cups in reverse. It's not a suspicious card. I'm hoping to see signs of suspicion and finger pointing and finger pointing at the person who is grinning beside him, couldn't conceal her glee or her veneers. Um, it's mummy, Diana. It's the great woe of always being followed, never being free, never being safe, never being able to shake off this great woe. And that's why it's in reverse. It brings it all back to him. Every time they are there and the cameras are flashing and it was night time, as I said, it was interesting that they weren't there as the celebs were arriving at Tyler Perry's, which I assume was probably in daylight. This is in the evening, late at night, uh, much more theatrical, much more dramatic, lights flashing, leap out from the bushes, take these pictures. For someone who is paranoid, for someone who is very triggered by this, he's told us how triggered he is by the camera flashes and all the rest of it. It brings the woe back. He doesn't even think, how did they get there? Because I think he genuinely, and this is me diving into his psychology as a very inexpert amateur psychologist, he doesn't even wonder how they get there because he assumes that they get there through nefarious means by tracing, tracking, hounding, stalking, um, hacking into his private communications and things like that. So uh, it, the, what's in his mind, the little mind that is there for something to be in, is mummy and the great woe and the PTSD and all of that that has certainly from the energy in this reading not been handled, it hasn't been resolved. Um, so, for all the, the hand waving and the eye turning and the flapping and the whatevering that he showed Oprah, is it ever going to occur to him that the calls might be coming from inside the house and not outside the house? Is it ever going to occur to him? Because we speculate that that is what's going on. We don't know. That's the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords in reverse. It might do. Because the Knight of Swords is sudden and swift vengeance, surprise. Um, there's two things you could read that card two ways because Knight of Swords is intelligence, sort of anal analytical ability, um, uh, action based on insight and in reverse stupid. So it's possible. It's not the first thought that came to my mind. A stupid would never see. It is possible that it's going to assail him at some stage because the Knight of Swords has that energy of being assailed by something. Suddenly, out of the blue, you get this insight. And the insight might not come from himself. It might have to be provided by someone else. Uh, perhaps his friends in the UK or his father, I don't know, who would be the one brave enough to present the evidence and say, look, see, this is how it works. I don't know. But it is possible that he gets a clue. Uh, my sense with this, because it's sitting under this Knight of Wands, which is indicating to me the sense that he feels he needs to move away. It might be in the moving away that it dawns or that it's explained or he realises. They seem to have tried before with Harry to explain things to him to produce evidence of certain behaviours. They did at the Sandringham Summit, allegedly. They did before the wedding, allegedly. And it just made him angry and defensive and gave her ammunition. And it was all us against them. This could be the end of the us against them energy with this Knight of Swords. Um, in reverse because it's pretty brutal when it does finally get going that Knight of Swords in reverse is savage and cruel and and lashing out energy cutting away 
energy. So if it does ever occur, or if someone does produce compelling evidence, I don't know how you would do that with Harry, um, it could get quite ugly. But the ugliness might be in the context that we're all waiting for, and the context of the the D word, shall we just say. So there it is. That's the reading. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.